face on some money here. Cut out a, a not so flattering picture of myself here. Uh, I'm going to use the face portion of it. I put together a, uh, a bill template from an old gold standard $20 bill that you can use. Um, and then a flag for the background. So let's drag and drop that. Drag and drop that into a new uh, uh, a new GIMP session here. And we're just going to save this right off the bat. File, save as. And we're going to call it uh, face money. Just something, whatever you want. Um, go ahead and save that. And you'll notice it's a JPG, a JPG file. So right click on that, add an alpha channel before we do anything. And then right click and duplicate. Uh, and we're going to hide our original. But we're also going to rename it build template original. And I'm just going to make that gray. That way we know that that's our original. Um, we're going to turn the eyeball off and we're going to work on this layer here. The copy layer. I'm going to rename that one. Uh, money layer. Okay. I'm going to make that one green. Again, this is just for our sorting purposes. All right. Um, now, the next thing you want to do, uh, go ahead and grab your, um, your face. You've already cut it out. I've got tutorials on that. Throw that in there. Let's go ahead and grab our background. Throw that in there. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our background behind our face, and then we're just going to go ahead and hide those two layers for now. Okay. So the next thing we want to do, um, as you can see, it says not legal tender still. Don't worry about that. This is You can use whatever bill you want. I just threw this template together um, uh, from the picture of a uh, old $20 bill. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we want to select our money layer, and we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, circle tool up here, the ellipse tool. I'm going to roughly um, make this uh, circle as close to these edges as possible. Obviously, we can adjust it. I'm just going to come inside this circle layer here, and I'm going to adjust this to go right to the edge uh, of where that dark green meets with the lighter green. Um, okay, making sure that this is not bolded, the money layer. Uh, now that we have that selected, we're just going to go ahead and hit the delete button. All right, um, or edit clear, however you want to do it. And then we're going to leave that selected, right? Uh, we're going to put the eyeball on our, our face so we can see it and select the move tool. And we're going to go ahead and move this. You don't have to do it this way, but it's one way you can do it. And we can see that the that my face is much bigger than that hole. Now, we can leave it that way and, and, and let it kind of overlap over the top if we want. Um, or we can just hide this literally behind it. But what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and um, just hide it behind it. I'm going to select None, Control Shift A, um, and then I'm also going to grab the Scale tool over here. You can press Shift S if you want, and I'm going to click this layer. I'm just going to drag it down to size here a little bit. And you can use this middle box to move it around. And I'm going to go ahead and center my face roughly like right here. Okay, hit the Scale button. So it applies. Uh, I'm going to right click and layer to image size right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and drag this down below that money layer. Boom. Now all of a sudden my face is on the uh, on the bill here. Um, next thing I want to do is bring up our flag. Okay. I drag that down below my face and you can see it's automatically in the background. Now you can move that, scale that as you wish. I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, make sure that it fills up the space behind uh, your face though. Okay, and now the next thing we want to do, <coughs> excuse me, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add a little bit of a mat, um, a canvas to our face here to kind of blend it with the aesthetics of the bill. So I'm going to come up here to my filters and I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, artistic right here and then just apply canvas. Now once we have this menu up, and you can see the preview here that it's it's actually pretty good at four, and you can play with this by bringing it down some, you can bring it up some, you don't want too much canvas because then it just doesn't look real. Um, I think four is actually a pretty good setting, three or four. I'm gonna go with three uh, on the depth. 
and the direction really doesn't matter. All that does is, is change, you know, what side it comes from. Um, so that's, again, it doesn't matter. Uh, and if you want to hit split view to see how much of a canvas you're adding, you can do that. Just go ahead and click OK. Canvas our face. That's great. Now we're going to go and click on the flag layer, which we don't have to um, add an alpha channel to that because we're not going to be making it transparent at all. Um, and we're just going to go up to filters and then repeat. So we have the same canvas back there. Now, if you'll notice, the saturation is much higher in here than it is on the bill. I chose this bill because I like the way it looks with the gold print. Um, one thing I do, I want to do before I uh, adjust the saturation in here, is I'm going to click on the bill layer, which is now at the top, the money layer, and then I'm going to go to filters, I mean uh, colors, and I am going to adjust the hue and saturation right here okay I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're just gonna go ahead and bring the uh, saturation up some and you can see it kinda getting becoming like a darker green I'm not gonna bring it up too much I'm gonna bring the lightness down slightly there we go that's a little bit more of a, a colorful money feel and you know just play with this so, so it's where you like it and then just hit OK um, now for comparison if we hide that um, and then we bring the other one back you can see how we made it a little bit of a greener bill by doing that and brought out the gold print so let's go ahead and hide our original again um, now if you want you can literally select your money layer and then do the uh, um, artistic the uh, the canvas on that as well so it's all kind of uniform that's entirely up to you uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it as is because I think I like the way it looks like this uh, the saturation now on the face and the flag, you can play with that if you want. I think I'm going to tone it down a touch by colors, saturation, uh, and just slide the, the scale down. I'm going to slide it down pretty low, actually, so that there's just a little bit of color in the flag, almost like an old feel, just something like that. And then on my face, I think it's okay as is. I might darken it a bit. Colors, um, I'm going to go to hue and saturation because it also has the lightness here. I might just darken that up a touch. Uh, we'll see maybe a little bit I'm definitely gonna bring the saturation down a touch maybe up uh, I don't want to bring it up I'm gonna bring it down a touch and obviously this is like I said it's not the most flattering uh, picture of my face here but um, and now we've got the issue of the name at the bottom right it's, it's obviously this is not Jackson uh, so I'm gonna scroll mouse uh, control and mouse wheel in and you can see the canvas effect a lot better this way let's click on our money layer and we're going to grab this clone tool which is uh, also just C you can press C if you want and on the left here we're going to we're going to use a fairly hard brush uh, we don't want it too hard because we're going to get close to the edges and I'm going to use my bracket keys on the keyboard to bring the size of this down um, and what we're going to do is make sure that we have it uh, set to Jitter off, dynamics off, here we go, size. All right, so what we're going to do is just clone one section. Uh, I'm going to control click here, and then I'm going to move this over here and just kind of click on the J, and then I'm going to control click here where the J was. I want to just keep doing this. You can literally drag it if you want, but you just kind of want to click in there, and this is how we're going to erase the lettering. Uh, move this over a little bit again. Obviously, it's not it's not going to be perfect um, but this will this will get the job done this is how you can kind of erase a name off of a bill or whatever and I'm just control clicking to move this part uh, you can drag if you want and just do it this way I prefer to just do it like this for the little details this is a very large image this is a 4200 by 1800 pixel image um, you know so you can get really detailed if you want all right now I'm just going to control mouse wheel out and you can see there that we um, eliminated the name I'm going to press M to get rid of that um, there okay and so now we've got no name how do we put a how do we put a name on there well the next thing we're going to do I'm going to zoom in I'm going to grab the uh, text tool all right we're going to write our name or whatever we want down here um, just go ahead and start writing it uh, I'm just going to put dar obviously that's too big I don't like the color um, select it all I'm gonna come over here to the size and just mouse wheel down 
Um, I don't want the dollar bill font. I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'll just do the deja vu sans. It, it doesn't really matter. Something that um, looks like it will fit. It Brima bold. There we go. That's good. Uh, bring it down. I'm going to change the color to... Uh, I'm going to grab this uh, eyedropper tool. And I'm just going to grab the same color that this other writing is right here. Uh, click OK. That's our money color now. Uh, I'm going to use the spread tool to spread my name out a bit. Something about like that. Bring the size down so that it fits roughly within the... There we go. I'm going to make it bold by clicking this. Oh, it's already bold. So, you know, just spread it out. Play with it a little bit. There we go. That's about where I want it. Um, what I might do is just leave the spacing. Click this move tool. Come over here and put it somewhere roughly, roughly in the middle. Um, make another path and start it about where the name starts. Come over here. Um, control click. This I'm I'm gonna leave that goof up in there because it does happen. Um, and just try to kind of make your path roughly the size of your uh, text box here. All right. And now that we've got that done, I'm gonna rename this one. Uh, with edit path attributes and real name tag, I'll call it whatever. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to delete the other path. And I'm going to come back over here, right click the text, text to path. Oop, text to long path, I'm sorry. Whoops, okay, because I did the text to path, that's why. Uh, let's see, okay, there we go. All right, so text along path. There we go. I mean, it's not perfect, but yeah, you get the idea. So now I'm going to hide my text layer, and I'm going to come over here where it says uh, DAR. I'm going to say right click and say path to selection, right? And then I'm going to take my fill tool with that new color we just got. Uh, let me grab it again. I drop a tool here. Click OK. I'm going to take my bucket fill tool and just go ahead. Oops, go ahead and select the money layer, and I'm going to fill it in. Okay. Select none. I'm going to go ahead and delete my name path. Actually, we're just going to hide it. That's fine. We don't have to delete it. So now, there you go. Now you can see we've got our name along a path. Let me zoom out so you can see it better. Um, looks pretty cool. It's how you curve text. It's not real complicated. It's just a matter of doing it right. <laughs> Goofed up, but I'm going to leave it in there, like I said. Okay. So I'm going to add a layer. Okay, call it overlay. That's fine. I'm going to make sure that's selected, and now I'm going to go ahead and fill it um, with the color. I'm going to move the overlay above the money layer. Now I can select none. Now I can hide my path. There we go. And uh, obviously, if you want to come back to it, you right click the overlay, output to selection. Um, you can, uh, before you even fill it, let me undo again. Uh, undo, reorder, undo fill. Okay, let me reorder it. All right, and now we want to say feather this. I'm going to feather it by like, I don't know, two. Uh, and fill it, select none, and let's hide our path. There you can see it, it, it gives it a little fit, uh, edge there. Let's undo, 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 undo feather. We're just going to feather it by five. Uh, and then just play with this so you get it the way you want. Select none, uh, hide the path. And, you know, there it's a little faded, kind of like the money is. Now, if we scroll back out, you know, it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. The next thing, I mean, you could change the dates the same way. Just use your clone tool, erase the 1928, uh, and throw your text in 2021, whatever year. Um, you can do that with, with just about everything on this money. Uh, but, essentially, that is how you put your face on money. And if I zoom out here, you can make this whatever size. It's good to work with a large pixel uh, uh, image because you can get really detailed with it. Obviously, don't try to use this as real money. Disclaimer, you know, I, somebody might, who knows. Um, 
it might even be better if you like blur out the the money layer itself come up here filters blur um and you could just even do like a, you know just a regular gaussian blur uh and and you just increase it you know a little bit so that it's you can't really see whatever you can do a number of things with this but uh, essentially that's how you make your your face on money um, and if you really wanted to you can just come up here and say right click and oh, I'm sorry layer new from visible and then you can hide everything else and you can come up here and say uh, color saturation and just bring everything down and now you've got you know a, just a black and white piece of money uh, however you want to do it uh, next step is going to be saving your file if it's too large you can come up here image uh, scale the image and just set whatever size you want uh, and it'll scale everything uh, but essentially export it export it as a jpg and click the button okay put your details in click export and now if we come to our folder you can see we've got face money and that is how you put your face on money really simple you can do all the details you want you don't have to um, obviously if you're going to use something that looks real try to put a uh, you know a notice on there a disclaimer that it's not real money uh, just in case somebody tries to print it off and use it as such